Making the eyes and teeth white is very essential in portrait retouching. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create my own personal eyes and teeth whitening action and what is inside and how you can create yours too. Let's get started. This is the effect of my eyes and teeth whitening is you can see it's looking natural and it's looking good. So let me just show you the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. You can see how natural it is and how good looking it is. So I have my photo filter, I have my curves, I have my variables. Let me show you how I created the action and also how you can create yours. So I'm just going to delete this and start from scratch. So to do that, just come to your windows and click on action and your action is going to show. Just click on this hamburger icon right here and click on this button mode. And you can choose to create a set if you want or you can choose to create the action straight. So I'm going to create the action straight. So just click on this plus icon right here, click on it and just name your action eyes and teeth. You can choose to add a color so you can choose to remember it. I'm going to use violet and you can choose to add a, a uh, shortcut key if you want. So I'm not going to add a shortcut key. I'm going to click on record and everything I do right now is going to save as an action. So the first thing I do, I'll just come to my adjustment layer. If you can find adjustment layer up here, just click on adjustment layer below and click on your photo filter. And I'm going to use this Kony 80 photo filter and just take the density to down. So let's say eight percent. It works for me or nine. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'll put my adjustment again. I'll click on my cause adjustment layer, and I'm just going to click on lighter RGB like this, and just take it up a little bit. I feel it's okay right here. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to my vibrance, and I'm just going to come to my saturation and just desaturate it a little bit. Uh, let's leave it in forty six. Uh, or 50, let's leave it 50. And what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to create a group. So I'm going to put them in a group. So my vibrant selected, I'm just going to hold shift, click on my photo filter, and just click on Ctrl G. And once I click on Ctrl G, I'm just going to rename this group Eyes and Teeth. And once I rename my group, I'm just going to add a layer mask. After adding a layer mask, I'm just going to invert this layer mask to hide all the effects by pressing on Ctrl I or Command I if you're using a Mac to hide those effects. So after hiding the effects, I'm just going to pick my normal brush tool, make sure foreground color is set to white, and make sure opacity is set to 100, fill set to 100, make sure you're using a soft round brush. And after that, just come to your action again, and just click on this stop right here. So once I click on stop, the action is going to stop. So I've successfully created that action. So I'll click on this hamburger icon again, and just click on button mode. And if I scroll the way down, you're going to see the action we just created. You can see this as a tit action which we just created right now. So if I paint right now with my brush tool, you can see that it's going to bring those that effect. So I'm not going to delete this one we just created and just play the action. So once I click on as in teeth, it's just going to load the action for me. And all I have to do is just start painting on the teeth and the eyes like that. And it's going to make it look as realistic as possible. Like it's going to make it look really, really good. And you can come to the eyes and just paint on the eyes as well. It's going to make it look natural and look good like that so let's see the before and after this is the before and this is after and if you feel the effect is not strong enough all you have to do is just press on ctrl j to duplicate the layer and if you feel the effect is too much just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity a little bit to make it look as natural for me i like to reduce the opacity that is going to look as natural as possible so that's how you can easily create your eyes and teeth whitening action and i like to know the kind of eyes and teeth whitening action you use so let me know in the comment section if you want to learn how to create the dodge action from scratch, click on this video shown right here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.